Hey guys, this is Coach Timo uh, here with the, I think this is my fourth session online. Um, today's practice is going to be, um, so on the online portal, it's going to be week six, um, session one. Um, we're going to start off with this with this grid over here, a little bit of ball work and then move into some physical activities. Um, and then I'm going to go back to this, this square grid here in a second, um, at the very end and just have a little bit of competition, see what we can do. So what you want to do to start with, I'll give you guys a couple of minutes to set this up. Um, you're going to want to have about 16 cones um, and you're going to want to make a 5x5 five five square. Um, just how I've made it in, 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 in my session that I have right here. So if you take a look at it, um, just a quick 5x5 five five square. Um, some real, real basic stuff to start with. So I'll give you guys just a couple of minutes to set that up if you haven't already. Um, appreciate you guys being here and getting involved in this session. Um, it's going to be a good one. Uh, if you're outside um, and you're doing it outside, make sure that you've got loads of water ready because it is super hot. So, give you guys a couple of seconds to set that up. Um, so, on the online portal to start with, it's, uh, it talks about doing some burpees and high knees uh, to get warmed up. I am going to change it. Uh, you guys follow along just a little bit. Um, you know, I think we can. I can adapt this session to make it a little more engaging. Um, so to start with, once you've set your grid up, I'll give you guys a couple more minutes actually. Maybe it's gonna take you guys a little longer than it would take me. Um, so just a five by five grid, spread your cones out just like I have. Um, yeah, spread your cones out. Okay, so to start with, uh, we're not going to use a ball, just a quick warm up. Um, so I've got my wallet over there. So to start with, um, we're going to start one corner of the square. All we're going to do to start with, we're not running through the cone, no engagement in the cone, I'm just staying on the outside of the square. What I'm going to do in it is a sprint um, once we get going. So I am going to sprint the, every single part of this. Um, but to start with, easy jog so I'm going to just jog to the top one so just a real easy jog once I get to the top I'm going to side shuffle once I get here back pedal once I get to this corner side shuffle once I get here stop and stand still so to start with I'm going to jog it so three quarter speed not a sprint easy warm-up three times so I'm going to go three times we're going to take a rest quick drink um, quick 10 second drink and then we're going to do it three times uh, full out sprint max speed I can go I'm trying to go as quick as I can to get through there get raise that heart heart level you ready so real easy job to start with side shuffle backwards side shuffle and again Ooh, trying to stay on the outside of the cones So this time, now that you see the pattern, um, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to um, go through it again. Um, notice that when I'm facing forwards, and I don't turn my body to go sideways. So when I get to this top cone, I know that I'm going lateral and I'm still facing this way. So when I go through the drill. Make sure that I'm looking forwards the whole time. I'm not twisting my body. Try, try to stay as straight as I can. I'm gonna go three more times. Easy go. a quick drink next time we come back so you've got 30 seconds to get a drink this time when we come back we're gonna go three times all out sprint um, quick back pedal just to get through it
on your feet, get ready to go again. Water down, this time it's going to be a sprint. Um, so I'm going to go three times on a sprint. Uh, same thing, facing forwards. Um, I'm not turning my body when I twist to go around the corners. I stay straight over there on the back pedal so you don't trip over yourself. Maybe take a peek over your shoulder. Quick feet on the back pedal. I'm hoping I don't fall because I've got indoors on. relax again. If you need a quick drink, take a quick drink. If not, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, get back in there. Okay, this time, for the, uh, for the purpose of the drill, the ball movement drill, um, what you're going to want to do is, I'm going to explain how to do it. Um, this this draws about uh, creativity and, and what you can do. There's no specific right or wrong or any way that you do this drill. Um, but I'm going to explain how to do it, how it says on the online pool. I'm going to do it my own way, like it asks. Um, and you guys at home, if you've already figured out how you want to do it, uh, go ahead and do it that way. But this is how I'm going to do it. So to start with, ball starts on the corner, doesn't matter which way you're going. Nah. I'm going to go forwards to start with, with the ball. Right, so I'm going to dribble through the cone. Hey. Real easy, dribble all the way through. Once I get here, I'm going to stop my ball on this corner. Nah. I'm going to sprint to the top. So to sprint to the top, next one. Nah. Once I get here, I'm going to do a couple shuffles through the... Um, through the uh, the orange cone, so shuffles all the way through. Hey, really important. I don't, I don't mind how quick you go, uh, but I want you to get the technique down and be, be able to do the technique correctly. Uh, quick, quick explanation so we can move on. Um, so it's, it's going to be one, two, one, and now I'm going to step the other way. One, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, and it should be quick. I know my cones are pretty spread out. Should make it a little easier. If your cones are spread out, hey, maybe you need to go forwards versus sideways. Sometimes the cones are a little closer, so I can go a little faster. <laughs> on these ones, it's a little spread out. So one, two, one, two, one, two. So that'll be this one. So sprint, one, two's all the way through here. Once I get here, I'm going to sprint all the way until my ball. So I'm going to sprint, 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 sprint. Once I get back here, I'm going to redo the same thing over again. So I'm going to go dribble all the way through. Same thing, stop my ball, sprint, shuffle, once I get here, sprint back to my ball, once I've done that, I'm going to stop, I'll get myself a rest, and then we'll do a different variation uh, of, of a way to go around, okay, so... are ready we're gonna go in three seconds two one oh, I'm gonna start over again start over again too good on that one. I forgot how to do it. Sprint. So it's going to be dribble, sprint, shuffle, sprint, sprint.
and get yourself a drink once you get back to the start. Ooh. It is hot. Oh. Your motivation from Sadie over there. a drink think about the movement that you just did because it is going to change just a little bit um, down. okay so this time uh, I don't know what variation you've got. Um, I'm going to change it just a little bit. Um, on the first part, I'm going to dribble through the cones. Once I get through this side, I'm going to dribble just all the way straight. I'm not going through the cones. So dribble forwards, keep it close touches, heel down, toe up. Um, so, so I'm going to go heel down. Oh, sorry, toe down, heel up. Um, and I'm gonna have my foot just curved inside just a little bit. And that way, I'm using the outside of my foot to dribble the ball. So toe down, heel up. That's how my foot should look on the ball. So if I'm using my left foot, it's not straight at the ball. So I'm not dribbling straight through the ball. Um, I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna, uh, my heels down, my toes down, sorry, my heels up. It's curved just a little bit outside. That way I'm keeping close control of the ball. Through the cones, sprint it to the next one. This time, when I get to this car, I'm going back through the cones again as quick as I can. Once I get here again, simple straight, we'll sprint back to the start. So, to break it down, it's going to be dribble, sprint to the outside, dribble, sprint to finish. And we're going to do three reps. Um, I'm going to go through once, and then when you got while you guys are finishing it up, um, I'm going to take a look at the comments. See if anybody needs any help. Uh, try and help you guys if you do need help. So you are going to go three times. There is no, there is no rest. Um, there is no break. Um, it's just three reps all the way through. Dribble, sprint, dribble, sprint. Like I said, I'm going to go one time, and you guys keep going while I check the comments and everything else. Game speed. Remember, when I am sprinting that outside. Um, toe down, heel up. Even when I'm going through the cones too, hey, same thing, my toes down and my heels up. And I'm taking those smaller touches to get through there. If you want to get uh, real, real, a little bit extra with it and get something out of it, maybe on this side, when I'm dribbling through the cones, I'm gonna use just my right foot. And then on, my, on the other side, when I'm dribbling through the cones, maybe I'll use my left foot. Hey, I'm gonna do that on uh, mine. You guys do it however you guys feel necessary. Two sets in, you got two more left. Is there another? Thanks, Wade, for those awesome comments. I appreciate it. You're the man. Everybody else, keep going. Once you're done with your, your three sets. Um, you're going to get a quick drink, quick drink. Once you're done with your drink, get ready for the next part. I'm gonna change it up just a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, this time, uh, on this variation, it's the same thing I am dribbling with the ball. I'm going to go to the top cone. Same thing, as fast as I can go. Once I reach this top one, I'm going to take it on the outside, and then I'm going to go diagonally across the box, all the way to the far corner. Once I get here, I'm going to go to the top again. Once I get here, I'm going to this cone, and then back to the start where I started. Once I get here, my rep is with. Um, I am, I'm going to show you guys once more without the ball, without a ball, just to the This is how it goes, so I'm going to go run to And then that way you guys can see the pattern. Um, then we'll do some... I'm going to take the camera because baby doesn't want to cooperate. So starting over here on this cone. So there's my square. I'm going to sprint to the top, all the way to the top, around the top cone, across diagonally through the middle, around up to the top. And back round again. Hey, and I'm gonna go three times on that. So three times, um, three times on that, and then uh, and then we're gonna move on to the next part. I've got one more after that, and then we'll move on to the physical exercises. Try and spin this around. So whenever you guys are ready, um, whenever you guys are ready, you're gonna go ahead and do three sets. Um, no time limit on this to start with make sure that when you're dribbling with the ball um toes down heels up hey keep in control of the ball hey not like my first one where i had to redo it um make sure that you just keep control of the ball um, and you're looking what you're doing so i'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to go through that anybody got any questions on the drill hey feel free to ask i'll try and help you the best way that i can um you know this this drill is more for on the ball um, but you know don't go through the process of the drill and, and not really focus on the touches uh, maintaining control of the ball um, you know definitely try and work on those close touches If you if you're there and you're still going, keep going. Um, if you're done, get yourself a quick drink. Uh, we've got one more to show you on this, um, and then we'll go back into the physical exercise and we'll end back on this. What we're going to do at the end, while you're there listening, we're going to try and dribble through all the way through the square. Um, try and time ourselves, see what times we can get. Maybe try with your right foot all the way around it, just using right foot, um, and then go through with your left foot. Um, and then finally we'll try and get your videos up online and see see where everybody's at in the competition okay i'm trying to set my camera down somewhere to where you guys can see what's going on probably not the best but i think that you guys could see it so i'm going to give it a go Make sure that you, when you're going around on this one, make sure that you're staying on the outside and then you go around the top cone on the outside, inside, same thing on the outside too. So I'm gonna go through it half, three quarter speed and then maybe try and speed it up on my last one. So this time, um, when I'm on this left side, I'm going to use my right foot to go around the cone, outside of the touches. And then on the other side, on the right side, I'm going to use my left foot to go on the outside. So that way I'm working different sides of my foot, uh, still maintaining control of the ball. 
the right left side I'm going to use my right outside and then on the right side I'm going to use my left outside. See how everybody's doing. Good. Because she's not cooperating still. Go away. So I'm going to try and put this camera so that everybody can see me. Look, see if you can see me. Okay, so um, the first part of this, first part of the physical exercises. Uh, We've done this one before, it's the arabesque, um, the arabesque stretch, uh, you know, like I told you guys last time, arabesque, it's a little bit of ballet, so um, you are going to look like a ballerina, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to do three sets um, for, 50, uh, for 15 seconds, um, all you want to do to start with, super important, um, is you're going to want to start with your thumbs up to the side, so thumbs up to the side. Um, you're gonna, what you want to do is, so you're going to have your plank foot down all the way flat to the floor. So flat to the floor, hey, my back and my neck, it's a, it's a little relaxed. Um, all I want to do to start with, so I'm going to use my other foot that's not being on the floor to push back, and I should feel it in my hamstring. Um, as I lean forward, so as I start to lean forward, as my leg comes up, um, I am really going to push down on my, on my plank foot. And I'm going to push down on my plank foot, I am really feel it back there in my hamstring. Um, and that's how I should do it. So maybe you're going to go down, plank foot, you're going to push up, you're going to have your arms out, push up, sorry, push up. And then once you're there, you're going to hold it for a second and then you're going to change. And you're going to do the same thing with your other leg. Make sure that you're pushing down on your plank foot. And as you lean forward, you should feel it in your hamstring and then you're going to change and do it again. Um, so like I said, we're going to do three sets. So 15 seconds, make sure that you alternate. Once you feel that stretch, maybe switch over, get your other leg. Um, super important, make sure I'm pushing down on my, on my leg. Let me move my dog out of the camera. There we go. So just to start with real easy on your own time, uh, make sure you're timing it. As you push up off that plank foot and you lean forward, so you're gonna start up straight, lean forward. I'm gonna push my back leg out. I'm pushing down on this leg and I really should feel that stretch. And if you're feeling it, that's great. Switch over. You're going to go for 15 seconds. We're going to start in three, two, and one. And there, now I'm, going to, now I'm going to switch. Make sure that my neck's in a relaxed position. Really feel it in my hamstrings. Keep going. Get five, four, three, two, one. And relax, relax, relax. Got two, two more sets. It is hot out here today. Ready? We're going to get another 15 seconds. We've got two more sets. If you're at home watching, keep going. Three, two, one, and stop. Got one more, one more, we get a quick drink. Got one more to push through, arabesque. Hey, this is one that you need to be practicing in your own time and not through the session too. Um, hey, because it's a great it's a great draw for our hamstrings. Um, make sure that we have our thumbs up. Um, 
and you know like I told you at the start make sure that we're pushing with our standing leg um, back nice and flat make sure our back's nice and flat it's not crouched or it's not bent um, make sure you get your last set we're gonna go in three two one and work 15 seconds keep going Three, two, one, and start. If you need a quick drink, grab a drink, and if not, um, we are gonna move to this yoga mat. Uh, it's a little easier on us. If you don't have a yoga mat, hey, grab a towel, something like that. Um, while you're standing there, grab whatever you need. Um, let's go over there. Um, while you're standing there, um, the next the next physical exercise is a pike press up. Uh, we did this once on, on my last, I think it was the first session that I did. Hey, this one's a little tricky, um, but again, you know, try and get the technique down. Um, this one is gonna it's gonna work our chest and our shoulders. So make sure that we're we're we're, we're stretching our chest and our shoulders. We're working those. Um, you know, it's 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 almost like a regular push up, but this but it's but when you go up, and I'm going to show you in a second, you're going to be in the shape of, a, of an A or um, an upside down V. That's how I, how, I, how I see it. So an upside down V, all, you want to, all you're going to want to do to start with um, is you're going to have your hands um, shoulder distance apart, flat to the ground like you're in a regular push-up. Um, so you're going to have them shoulder distance apart. Instead of being in a regular push-up position where you're pretty flat and straight, how are you going to maybe bring your feet just a little bit closer? So I should be in an A position or a V. Um, when I'm in that position there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm actually gonna come off this mat to start with, because it's a little easier. So um, I'm gonna have my hands flat, shoulder, shoulder width apart, maybe come a little bit up. I'm on my tippy toes. Um, and all I'm gonna do is I wanna keep my, my, my head pretty straight. Um, and all I'm, all I'm gonna do, uh, I didn't tell you guys this at the start, but maybe you're gonna wanna put something onto the ground so that way your head's not touching the ground. Um, if, if you don't care, that's fine too. Um, and all I'm going to want to do is, so I'm in that, I'm in that, that starting position, shoulder width apart, head stay straight. Hey, it's looking through my legs. Hey, all I'm going to do is the regular push up all the way down and back up again. So there's one. So it's like a push up. Only this time I'm standing up. I'm in a V shape. Go down, two, three. Hey, and I'm going to go all the way. Uh, how many are we going to do with those? We're going to do 15 reps. So we're going to do 15 reps of those. Um, I'm going to take a look at the comments. You guys get started in your own time. Uh, whenever you're ready, see if anyone else is commenting, looking. No, I think the troll wade is gone for now. Um, so whenever you guys are ready, you can get your 15, get yourself a 30 second rest and get 15 more. Make sure that your shoulder widths apart. Um, if you're finding it a little tricky and you can't do it, um, and you, you're having a hard time with it, and it's it's, it's quite challenging, maybe you're a younger player, um, you can do the same thing. So I'm going to try and show you guys real quick while it's there. Hey, instead of being on your tippy toes, maybe start on your knees. Hey, same thing. And I'm just going to do the push-ups all the way down. One, two, all the way until I get to 15, and so on. So I'll give you guys a couple seconds to finish up the reps on those. So that's a pike push-up. Man, it is roasting out here. I think I should have picked to do it inside. Um, should have done it inside, I think, but enjoying this Texas weather, I've been able to get out my house and actually do something. So that's always good. Uh, this time, let me just move those comments so I can see. Perfect. Um, the next part, so once you're finishing up, um, I know that you're, you're probably um, finishing up and you can't really see the camera right now, so I will give you guys a couple more seconds to finish those pipe push-ups. Um, if you're there listening, um, the next part, so number three, it's going to be monster walks. I actually forgot my, uh, my resistance band again. Um, if you're on the online portal, uh, you would have saw that there is a resistance band. We've actually done this one before. Um, I'm going to explain it. I'm going to let you guys go through the reps, um, give you some advice on what you need to be doing, um, and so on. So, to start the monster walks, 
Um, again, you're gonna do, we're gonna do three sets of 15. So you're gonna do 15 steps. Um, how I would do it is, is to start with, so what, what you're gonna wanna do is put your elastic band uh, around your ankles. So that way you can, if you step to the side here, you're gonna feel the resistance of that band. Um, there's a couple ways that you could do this. So you're gonna put the resistance band on your ankles. Um, and what you're gonna do is, you wanna, you're gonna wanna almost, uh, your hips, your knees and your ankles are gonna be relaxed. So in a relaxed position, I'm not down here, uh, I'm just in a, in, a, in a relaxed position, slightly bent. All I'm gonna wanna do to start with the feet together, I'm gonna open up the elastic band to stretch and then I'm gonna let this foot leg come in. One, two, and what I would do is I'd start on one side, is this the resistance band? I'm relaxed. Hey, my arms are my arms are out like a zombie or a monster, I guess. Um, and you're gonna want to step. Let that band come across. Step, and you should feel that resistance of that band in between my legs, um, working my groin. Um, you know, if you're at home and you you have a you have a band um, that's that's pretty easy. Uh, maybe tighten the band just a little bit. Uh, you could go just a little bit longer if you wanted to get a little more out of it. Um, but if not, and you're following along with the drill, you're gonna to wanna to grab that resistance band um, and, and work through that part. Um, for everybody watching, I want you to start your first rep. Um, and you're gonna go, or sorry, your first set, and you're gonna go for 15 reps, um, and then get yourself a quick rest and go through them as I'm talking. Um, if you don't have a resistance band, um, you know, you're probably sitting there going, man, I don't have one of those. Um, maybe just work through the motion of it. You know, start with my legs, I'm relaxed. Hey, I'm just working that position and I know there's no resistance. Hey, but next time when you get that, when you get that resistance band, you'll know the motion. Uh, maybe you'll get a resistance band tomorrow um, and go through it. Um, I'll let you guys finish up those reps. Keep going, keep pushing yourself. Um, we're coming to the end or the middle of our session. Um, if you sit in there listening uh, and you do want to enhance it a little bit more, there's some things that you can do. Uh, you know, on the for the monster walk that we're working on, it's around our ankles. Um, you can change it up and, and 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 put it onto the outside of your boots, so that way it's a little further down. Um, you could also put it up here with your knees, uh, have it around your knees, and just stretch those knees. Um, and you can also, instead of going sideways, you can also have it back on your ankles. Same thing, monster walk. Hey, and instead of me going sideways, I, I'm going to go forwards. There, there. And I'm really trying to stretch my stretch the insides of my of my groins and, and we'll work on that. Um, the resistance band you can make it smaller, make it harder, whatever you guys need to do. So that's monster walks. Make sure that you get your reps in. Get drink plenty of water. Uh, let you guys finish that off. Take a look at the comments again. See if anyone else is on there. No, there's not. So we're good right now. So I'll let you guys finish up that set. Make sure you get your three sets of 15. Don't rush through the drills. Um, you know, I don't want you injuring yourself, but, but but don't rush through the drills. Make sure that you're doing it the correct form. Hey, my hips, my knees, and my ankles are relaxed. Um, and I'm not really straining myself by really taking big, big steps. Um, you know, just as I feel it, maybe that's where I need to, to hold it and then move on to the next set. Keep working through those sets. <clears throat> This time, um, finishing up those sets, get yourself a quick drink again. Uh, it is hot out here, make sure you drink your plenty of water. Um, for the next part, uh, or the next physical exercise, hey, I'm gonna do um, a high plank. Um, so everybody knows, hey, regular plank, I'm down there, I'm straight. Um, I think a lot of people don't really like this one, but as a soccer player, you definitely need a, a good core to, um, to be able to hold the ball and dribble with the ball. And, you know, when somebody's trying to hassle you to get that ball off, you do have that core strength to, to hold onto the ball and stay on your feet. That's why this is a great exercise to, for, for soccer players. So, low plank to start with, I'd, be on, I'd have my, my, uh, my forearms down, facing forwards. Um, and all I would do is, I would I'd be on my toes, hey, and my back would be perfectly straight. Uh, my butt's not in the air up here. It's straight. I should feel it in my core and my abs. And I, I'm going to hold it. So, what we're going to do is, um, 
We're gonna do three sets. And I'm gonna try and work through these ones with you guys. Uh, three sets of 30 seconds. Um, they're high planks, so they're not low planks. I'm gonna explain the same thing. Um, it is the same thing as low planks, only this time, instead of your forearms, it's gonna be your hands on the, on, the, on the ground. So my hands are perfectly flat on the grass, um, facing forwards. Hey, I'm gonna be in that plank position. So I'm gonna be in the same plank position. My, my back straight, my, my, my abs are in, and I'm, I'm really squeezing my glutes to feel it in my abs. And I'm just gonna hold it there for 30 seconds. Once I've held it for 30 seconds, I'm gonna relax. Maybe we'll take a 30 second rest and then we'll do another 30 seconds, 30 second rest, 30 seconds. So we're going to do three sets of 30 seconds. So we're going to start in three. Actually, I'll give you guys a couple seconds. A couple seconds to get set up on this one. Planks or um, high planks, sorry. We're going to start in three, two, one and go. So really hold it. I'm squeezing my glutes. My, my, I'm on my toes. Um, my butt's not in the air, it's not holding up here. I can't really feel it in my abdomen, my butt's up here. I should be feeling it in my abdomen. And if I am, um, that's great. Make sure that my arms are staying straight. They're not, they're not down here or, or, or slightly bent. Um, and, and don't cheat like I am right now and have my knee down. Really try and hold it there for the 30 seconds. Should be able to do it. I think 30 seconds is not too much. So keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Hold it right there. So hey, awesome job, awesome job if you if you held it for that 30 seconds. Keep going this time. I'm gonna take my watch off so I can see it. So I can see my watch. So we're gonna go in 10 seconds. 10 seconds, same thing. Um, holding it in my abs, feeling that, feeling that uh, abs, really squeeze my um, glutes to, to feel it. So we're gonna go in three, two, one. Keep going, got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. One more set. One more set of 30 seconds. And finally, we're gonna get our last set. Last set before we move on to our final exercise. Um, great job for everybody tagging along and watching it. Um, you know, these sessions aren't too long, so definitely, definitely really try and push yourself. Drink loads of water, it's getting pretty hot now. I know it's May, but hey, sun's out. Sun is out, we're gonna go in three, two, one. Same thing, don't give up now and, and, and start having bad posture when I'm doing it. Make sure that I'm, I'm, my back, my butt's down. I'm holding it in my abs. My arms are straight. They're not bent. I forgot when I started this, so I'm just going to hold it. Ten seconds. Uh, relax, relax, get a quick drink again, another quick drink. Um, final part, final physical exercise. Um, while you're standing there getting a drink and listening, um, what you're gonna do, what you're gonna wanna do is, is, is the exact same thing, it's a high to low plank. Um, so keep drinking, keep listening. Um, you know, we're just working through the high plank. This time it's gonna be high to low plank. So like I, like I said at the start, um, you know, the low planks on your forearms, the high planks on my hands. So you're gonna start in that in that in that first position. You could start on your knees to start with. Once we start going, you're gonna hop up onto your onto your hands and you're gonna hold it there in that first initial high plank right there. 
arms straight still. So you're gonna hold it for two seconds, one, two, and then you're gonna go into the forearms, down there, same thing, one, two, and then back up to the position right there, one, two, and back down again. And all you're gonna do is work through that for 30 seconds. Um, you know, I'm gonna try and go through the first set with you guys. Um, so making sure that we're we're um, we're, we're really feeling it in my in my in my in my abs. I'm squeezing my glutes to make sure that I'm feeling it there. Um, I'm maintaining a straight back like a plank. That's why they're called planks. Um, you know, good good posture is, is is good form, and we'll try and get through this final set and then finish on a on a just a quick challenge. Um, so you can get the quickest time um, and just go from there. So. Start my watch. We're gonna go in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Make sure that when you're up in that plank, you do hold it there and you're not just bouncing between the two. So one, two, and then I'm down. One, two, up, one, two, and so on. So I'm just holding that stretch. It's also working my, uh, my upper body too, and it's not just working abdomens too. I'm having to push myself up to go through that, through that final stretch, so keep going. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. As I'm doing this drill, so while you get while you're sitting there relaxing for a second, um, or this 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 exercise, um, you know, try not to twist my neck and turn it around. I'm looking at different things, but hey, I want to make sure that I keep my neck straight. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, my neck should be still when I'm doing it. Uh, back should be flat like a straight plank, uh, you know, not raised in the middle. Um, let's finish these last two sets. So we're gonna go in five seconds right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep going, keep pushing. You got five seconds, four, three, two, one, and relax again, relax again. Good job, good job, good job. We got one set, one set and we're almost done. Um, awesome workout, awesome workout. Let's keep pushing ourselves, keep pushing ourselves. We got one more set, one more set of high planks, or high to low planks. Um, yeah, good job everybody. Good job for everybody following along. <clears throat> and we've got five seconds for our final set. Five, four, three, two, one. Keeping good form on this last one. Hey, don't give up on the last one. Make sure it's a good, good, good plank, good high to low planks. Really squeeze my glutes on this last one. I'm really, really tight on my glutes, my abs. I'm really, really tight. Um, I'm not. I'm not giving up on this last one. Keep going. Twenty seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Yeah. Now you can relax. Now you can relax. Um, get a drink. Get a drink. We're gonna give it a couple minutes. Uh, and then we're gonna move on to this final part of the session. Final and last part of the session. Hey, awesome, awesome job, good job. Uh, let me take a quick look at the comments. Ooh. Oh, now my mum's in here watching along. Just want to say hi to my mum for watching. Uh, make sure you get your sets in too, mum. I see you over there watching, creeping. It's 
So, on this last part, back to my square drill. Just to finish, um, if you got somebody there to time you, that's great. If not, and you can time yourself on your watch, even better. Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to start on one corner. I'm just going to use the same foot on all of it. Um, and all I'm going to do is dribble until I get back to the start, all the way through each cone. Um, time yourself. Uh, I'm going to try and set this up so you guys can watch me do it. And then I'm going to go with my left foot. And that should give us an end of our session. Let me see if this will work. That right there. It's the best that I can do for you guys as of my camera woman has failed. Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick go. I'm gonna dribble through all right foot. If I actually tell myself to do like this. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go in 10 seconds. So 10 seconds, you go in your own time. Time yourself, I'm gonna check the comments, see if anybody's left their time in there. So three, two, one. All the same foot. And stop right there, I've got 16 seconds. So 16 seconds with my right foot. I did touch the cone. Not too good there. Pull that stuff away. Stop pulling that stuff away. Oh, this time I'm gonna go with my left foot. Give myself 15 more seconds, I'm gonna get going. So my first time on my right foot was 16. See if I got my left. Not too quick on this one, but we'll see. Got to work it to make sure we're good with it. Five, three, two, one, go. Right there, we've got 17 seconds. Wow, that's pretty good. 17 seconds on my left foot. You guys, um, send your videos in. Um, let us know your times. Um, we'll see who got the quickest time on this final one. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. I hope you're having a safe um, time to yourself. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody back on the soccer fields. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. I will see you guys Wednesday at 6 o'clock for another session. Thank you.